Hi, welcome to All About Mechanical Engineering. In today's video, we will take an example on projection of lines where the solution of the line is obtained using a dummy point. Let's take an example for better understanding. A line DE is inclined at 30 degrees to the HP and has its end D and E at a distance of 25 mm and 60 mm in front of VP. The length of top view is 65 mm and its VT that is vertical trace is 15 mm above HP. Draw the projections of the line and find its true length and inclination with VP. Also locate its HT that is horizontal trace. Assume the line is in first quadrant. Let's extract the given data first. First thing the name of the line that is DE. Second theta is given to us as 30 degrees then point D is 25 mm in front of VP E is 60 mm in front of VP top view length is given as 65 mm then vertical trace is 15 mm above HP and the line is given in first quadrant now to find what is asked in this question first the true length of the line second inclination with VP that is phi and third HT let us put the given data on this solution in order to understand how to proceed. So what we have? We have theta. So this we have with us. Top view position of D and E both we have. So we have these two top view positions with their distances. And the top view length is also given. So we have this top view length. So we can obtain this locus also. And the vertical trace is also given. So we have this VT given to us. Also, the question is of first quadrant. Now let's put the things on paper. This is the given data we are keeping for reference. And this is the image we are going to use while plotting the given data. Starting with the first XY line, drawing a vertical projector taking a distance 25 mm in front of VP and locating the top view of D. Then taking another distance that is 60 mm in front of VP from the XY line and locating a locus of point E in top view. Then taking 65 mm that is top view length in the compass keeping on D cutting this arc and naming it as top view point of E and joining this we have obtained the top view of the given line we can extend it back and we will obtain V here because extending top view meeting XY line gives us V from that we have to take 15 mm above from the XY line drawing a locus on which VT will be located from V if you draw a vertical projector intersecting with this locus you will obtain a point that is vertical trace VT as given in the question. Now you don't have any front view point that is D dash from where the theta can be drawn. Now we have used everything which was given in the question except the theta. In order to draw this theta we have to obtain a point first so we are not having any point given to us let us assume any point here on this vertical line because we are knowing it that on this vertical projector where D is having its top view on the same vertical line you will have D dash. So let us assume we are having this point where D is there. So we are taking a dummy point so the name cannot be D dash we will name it as D zero dash. Taking an angle theta that is 30 degree given to us in this question and creating a line. Now if you check that here if you have this top view if you rotate it back making it parallel to XY line and project it up you have the intersection of this vertical line with the true length here at a particular angle theta. So that's what I am doing here. I have rotated this top view made it parallel to XY and then taking it vertically up so it gets intersected with this line at an angle 30 degree. Now taking a locus at this 
this is our e1 dash and taking a vertical line from e because on the line of e you will be having e dash so this is the front view but this is a dummy the front view now why we are calling it as a dummy the front view because this is not the actual position and on what basis we are saying it is not the actual position as seen in the previous video we know the front view h and vt are on the same line so if we extend this front view it is not passing from this vt so you have to make your ruler parallel to this dummy front view and make another line which is passing through vt so this is your actual front view this is actual points d dash and e dash now note that the length of this front view is not wrong it is correct the front view length is correct even the angle is correct the only thing which is wrong in this is the position that's why it is called dummy so length of this dummy and this actual front view will be same alpha made by this dummy front view and with this actual front view will also be same and you don't have to shift this true length again at this position because this true length is also correct if you extend the front view meeting xy line this will be edge drawing a vertical projector and obtaining intersection of this vertical projector with the top view you have located this as hd this is the locus of e in front view if you take this length d0 dash to e1 dash in your compass keeping it here and d cutting a, a arc on this locus of e in top view you can obtain the angle phi also hope you have enjoyed this video thank you for watching